All right. So we've already talked about ellipses. So now we're going to be doing some isometric drawings that have curves on them. So we're going to need to be able to use ellipses this week. Uh, so if you have your ellipse template, you get time to use it. If you don't, how will you do it? The old fashioned. The old fashioned way, right? Right down here, box, do three quarters of it. So if we're looking here, where is the center of this arc? Can we, how, can we tell where the center of that is? Four boxes in. Yeah, because if that's all the way across, it's four, now it's four down, so the center is right there. And then it's that back piece is two forward. So it's already told us that this is the front. So this is the back. And this area is where that curve is going to be, right? So is there going to be a point there at that point there? No, because that's out here. There's nothing there. there too. So what we want to do is we'll do, that, we'll do this front piece first. And so we'll just do our kind of our box. Same thing, two back from there. Like that. So, yeah, so right here, is there really going to be a dip like that? No. What's going to happen? Gonna We're going to draw a tangent line right there. And that line is going to be at what angle? Well, what angle should that line be at? If that edge is going straight back, what angle should that line be at? So that should be 30, so it should be parallel with our grid, tangent to the circles. And if it's tangent to both, it should be 30. If it's not 30, then something's wrong with your circles, or your, your ellipses. So from here, go back, and then look something like that. We'll have our edge here. Is there going to be an edge there? Should I draw an edge right here? Connect those? Why not? No. Why not? What? Yeah, I saw the bottom piece, so this is going to come out. Like that. But why no edge there? Because yeah, it's tangent, right? It's tangent, no line. Question, any other questions on this one? Do the same thing, get that circle. Make sure you do it the right size. It's got a diameter of one square, but it's centered. So it's going to be halfway into the other ones. And it's going to be centered right there. Right? 
two down. What about the one on the right? Oh, this is ISMC 1A. Well, what about this one? We're going to have the lips now going this way, right? So as you're looking into it, you're going to be looking at it this way. What are you going to see? Where's this? this piece? What level? That'll be up here, top where? To the, the top, right? It's right there. What about that one? And then it's also down here, right? So we might see part of the bottom? Maybe, maybe not. What about this piece there? Where's that? In the middle and the bottom. Yeah. What? In the middle and the bottom. Yeah. That's right here. So, is there going to be an edge going around the back right here? No. That's just one solid face going down there. There's no edge going around the back right there. Okay. You won't see the key. You'll see the lines from the keyway going down. And that's what this that little notch thing right here. That's called a keyway. So you're going to see the lines from that going down. There's no edge going across it. Questions? This looks a lot like one of the examples I did last week, right? Or a couple weeks ago? Without the curve? Any example a lot like that? So half that keyway is on top, and then the rest the, of it can Yeah, the whole keyway, the, the keyway part is up here all the way down, but the front edge of the circle is only down here and there. The, the front edge doesn't continue around. So there's no back edge right anywhere in between. Any other question on these? That's ISMN 1A. This is 3A. Or ISMN, ISMN C. Yeah. ISMN C. Whatever. This is 3A. That one. <clears throat> so now we've got. That's going this way. We have to do the, so we have to do the top view. And so the key here is make sure you project your things from the side view up back to the top. Because are, is that corner and that corner going to line up in the top view? Are these two corners going to line up in no. the top view? No, because they're that's one's inset more. Same thing that those two corners. So you should have two sets of lines that don't line up in the top view. So these, this line here is going to be that width. This line here is going to be that width. And from those points. That one. That one. And this is where using the T square comes in handy because you can line up the T square of your paper, and that way when you move your triangle over, it's going to stay perpendicular. You're not going to have to try and line it up with the dots on the grid. The yellow line in this section, the green line in that section. Okay? Because this is where the yellow is, so that's where the yellow needs to stay. Green is here, green needs to stay there. Okay? Exactly. So we'll have
questions? Still don't get it. No, we don't get what? Why did the, the blue lines write it in? Yeah, like, where the circle is going, where the circle is included. In this. By what circle? It's, it's a piece of pipe uh, yeah. that's got a couple oh, steps okay. in it. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's a piece of pipe. Yeah. Because we know that this line means it's solid, the next line means it's hollow. It's a piece of pipe with those. And so it's got a flat here and a flat there. Flat there, flat there. So on the green line, it's at this level, so we have to project those edges. Okay. <clears throat> then here, it's at this level, so we need to project those edges. Anyone else have questions on it? Remember, <coughs> when you project a point, so like this corner here, I should go from there, up to my line, over and down, it should make a box. So I should be able to do that with each point, make a box out of it by bouncing it around <coughs> to see where it goes. Do you get, get it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone else? So that's one important thing is when you see it, things here, you're not sure where it's supposed to go horizontally, just bring it back and see what it lines up with. So like on this one, what is this circle right here? This one. Where is that in the front view? Yeah. Okay. green circle in the front view? What does it line up with? So when we have a circle, what do we care about? We care about the top and the bottom of it, right? And the two sides. So where does this bottom line up with? It lines up with here and with there, right? Yeah. So it means that at that diameter we have two different sections. What about the, this outer circle? Where does it line up? Yeah, it just lines up with there, right? What about this edge? Where's that edge? Is that, is that the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that whole edge. So we know that this whole front piece is going to be only from here down, right? For, for this part, it's only going to be from there down. Then this back piece is going to be what? Just the, the green circle going all around in the hole, right? So we can see the hole here. See that? There and there. So use that, see where it is here to where it lines up there. Just take it back to see where it lines up with, and that's where that thing's going to be. Now, when you have your, your red line on the bottom where it's yep. curved, on your front view, wouldn't it, you have an up and down? Yeah, it's that whole face right there, right? Yeah, but wouldn't you have a yeah, and you're, you have the edges. In. Yeah. yeah, you have the edges there. <clears throat> so then up here, what's that one going to look like? So if we have our... 
yeah. inside if we draw that circle. Because that's all the way out on the edge, right? What's happening up closer to it? We can get all saw so we see our hit lines. Well, I have a question right here on the front view. Space to do two dashes. Oh, okay. it, yep. That can't be just a solid line sticking there. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. And that's why we do the different line weights. Is because you can see by the line weight that it's a little thinner. Maybe not on that, but in the book you can. When you look at it in the book, the line weight's thinner. <clears throat> so that, that way you can tell just by the line weight that it's not an object line. <clears throat> but they should have put a, boy, a break in there. So, let's do that for them. Okay. There. That <laughs> <laughs> well, was confusing me. So, now what's it going to do? Doesn't it have, don't we have another visible edge there? Yeah. And so it's, in one from it. And we can see right there that, that counter bore. on how I got that. So I expect yours to look a lot nicer. Would there be another edge on the inside of that also? Inside of where? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would have had another edge here. That's why it looks funky. over and see what's going on. Just bring your edges over, see what lines up, work one piece at a time. So this is looking at it from this way, right? So work the closest thing first and go back. Because you know the closest thing is going to be visible and then further back is going to be not visible or be hidden. Same thing here. Work the closest thing first, 
and then work back away from that side view. And project your lines. On these, you might want to work on seeing some of it might be easier to start at the top view, some of it might be easier to start at the isometric. Kind of depends on how you work better. Questions. So do the practice one first. That'll get you some practice doing it. Line stuff up. And then go to the lab after you're comfortable with the practices. Next week, we're going to start isometrics. Or not isometrics. We're finishing isometrics. Um.